Hello friends, so welcome back to my channel. I am eating a pretty late lunch, but I'm having Jack in the Box. I got fries. Mm. I got a large fry. Jack in the Box has like one of the best fries and it is my time of the month, you guys. She's here, she's here to stay. She came three days early. It is my time of the month and let me tell you, last night, I don't know what hit me, but I wanted to eat everything in this house. It was just, a, Carlos literally looked at me like I was weird. I also got Jack in the Box's mini tacos. If you guys have never had their mini tacos, I would like to introduce you to like the cutest things in the world. Look how cute these are. They're mini tacos. You can get them plain like I did, or you can get them loaded. They'll like mix a bunch of things inside, but I love them like these. You pop them in the air fryer later if you want to. And then, I'm telling you, I'm on my period, you guys. I got a breakfast platter. <laughs> yeah. I got a breakfast platter because, honestly, these pancakes were calling my name. So if you guys didn't know, Jack in the Box has like these really cute breakfast platters and it comes with mini little pancakes. Look how small these babies are. So mini little pancakes, eggs, um, hash brown, a sausage, and bacon. And it's like the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's like the perfect amount of food. I'm probably gonna save this for later, to be honest. Um, and then just like pop it in the air fryer. Wait, where's the little one that I like broke off? Oh, <laughs> there it is. Mm. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna make lemonade because I've been craving homemade lemonade for days now. Also, do you guys like this lip color more? I just um, tried the new Tarte Cosmetics Juicy Plump Lip Thingy, but this is in the color Mixed Berry and I think it's the perfect lip color for me. I think the one I wore last time when I like talked about the product was Primrose, and Primrose is definitely more pink. Mixed Berry is so pretty. I lined it with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in medium two. I think this might be my lip color. Mmm, they're so cute. So last night was um, a very interesting night to say the least. I literally was emotional um, all night because my baby, this is literally, I, I think I got it with you guys. I feel like I might have vlogged it. Baby, do you remember when we got this? It's recent, right? Like, I don't think it's been like eight, a year. Yeah, yeah. It, you guys, it hasn't even been a year yet. Anywho, last night, um, I was up late, just like running through the video. The video was pretty much done and I was about to export and the screen shut off. And I was like, okay, that's super weird. I was like, oh, maybe I ran out of battery and I was like too focused on editing that I didn't realize my battery was low. No, yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Oh. Do you want it? No. Yeah, I'm saving it for later. I can't eat everything at once, it's too much food. So I'm gonna save it for later. But I was, um, I was like, oh, maybe like my battery is like out. So I plugged it in and I tried to turn it back on and it wouldn't turn on. Like, look, you guys, I will literally press the button to turn on and it literally won't turn on anymore. It's donezo, like it's completely done. Um, but after it didn't turn on, I was just so impatient. You know when you're so impatient, you just like press this button and you just keep it down. So I did that and the screen popped up and I was like, oh, we're all good. Like it was just, you know, sometimes Apple has like their moment, it's all good. So then I put in my password to get in and keep in mind I'm in the middle of like a video that's literally done. And the screen starts flashing. Like it just starts flashing really intensely. And um, yeah, so I have to take it to the Apple store. I just don't know how much that's gonna be. Um, and I'm just really scared that they're gonna tell me that there's nothing they can do about it, even though this pretty much is like a brand new laptop. So I'm kind of nervous about that, but I, 
excuse me. I'm very grateful that I had a backup computer that I was able to like redo the whole entire vlog again and have it up this morning for you guys. But you guys, I literally was in tears all night. I was so sad. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I woke up this morning and like was still sad. It's just a lot of money, you guys. Um, Apple products in general are a lot of money, but computer and technology in general is a lot of money and money doesn't grow on trees. So I just, yeah, I do have a friend in Huntington Beach near my mom's house and he is really good with Apple products. So I might take it to him, I think next week, but I just don't know how long it's gonna take for it to be done. He literally can do anything and everything, but I just hope that it's not horrible. Ugh. So that's what happened last night. I'm so sad about it. I'm going to make lemonade. Oh my gosh, baby look, pretty lemons. Nice. They're so pretty. You guys see them? You see them now? Look how pretty these lemons are. Ooh, let me get my little lemon thingy. Growing up, I never used this. My mom would just like do everything by hand until I saw that this existed. And I used to do it the wrong way. Did everyone else do it the wrong way? I used to like put it in like this, but you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to put it in this way, but I was doing it wrong for like a very long time. I wanna say, that, that you I've always knew. Always done it the right way, so. That's amazing, Carlos. I really yeah. love that for you. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna cut out the little nipple end. Maybe. Cutting off. Yes. <laughs> Everyone has nipples. Lemons do not have nipples. And then I'm gonna put this in like these. Oh my God! Focus there. And then we're just gonna squeeze it in here. Um, I don't remember where I got this little thing. I think West Elm, I think. Ugh. Too short for this. <sighs> this is a job for Carlos, man. Oh, God. <sighs> They're really juicy. This is good. Very, very good. I only have this much sugar left, so I think I'm just gonna use all of it, to be honest. Oh, baby, we're out of sugar. <laughs> you think brown sugar will work? Oh, I don't know about that. You guys, I cannot believe I didn't buy sugar at the grocery store when I'm making lemonade. I guess you can try. Cause it's we like, any sweetener? it's sugar, like Honey? it's just brown. Okay, you can try it. I thought brown sugar was usually for like baking and stuff. Right, right. But I'm just like, you know, like it's like the just thing. Just try it. I would put a little bit of it. Okay. Like very little. And then if it, you see that it doesn't taste that bad, then I guess you can add more. But. Oh my goodness. I usually buy sugar from Costco. Maybe that's why. In my head, I was probably like, oh, I'll go to Costco. You know? Here goes nothing, you guys. <laughs> right, under the sun. Okay. Here goes nothing. Will it make the lemonade brown? I don't think so. Oh, wait, how's that? How does this go? <laughs> uh, the lemonade's brown. Dang, I was really excited to follow a recipe on the Echo Show today. Okay, it kind of looks like iced tea though. <gasps> We have, I'm gonna make lemonade uh, black iced tea. Yes, we have a little bit. I love this tea, you guys, by Tazo, I think. Yeah, Tazo. Tazo? I think so. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. I think one more spoon. No. I swear to God, I swear to you guys, like, that's it. That, it seems like a lot of sugar, but Butter. if you ever made lemonade with three lemons. Butter. Oh. Why is it so brown? Our dogs are kissing. Because it's brown sugar, babe. 
this tin. We're improvising. I'm supposed to make lemonade today, but it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna add water. Okay, so instead of lemonade, we made black tea lemonade. Isn't that Arnold Palmer, baby? I'm gonna get a pretty lemon. Look, you guys, it's the Echo oh. Show stand. Oh, I don't think they can see it yet. Oh, look. Carlos wants to show you the stand. Come mm. over here, baby. Bring it over here, they'll see it. We can show so our this friends. is the stand. Oh yeah, we we thought um, we found out that you can take the Echo Show 15 from Amazon off the wall and buy a stand, and so we got a stand here. Mm -hmm. You guys see it? Yeah. So this goes into here, and then it just has two screws. And you can stand it vertically or horizontally, right, babe? Yeah. And then you uh, there's this bracket thing here, this white thing that uh, screws into the Echo Show itself, and then you just clip it on, and that's it. And then you can, can they see it? Cause they can see it. Yeah, they can see it. So right there it's uh, vertical and then you just twist it this way and then you can make it horizontal. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, but I like it on the wall though. I like how it looks on there. I do too. This is really dope though. I love the Echo Show 15, you guys. I literally use it for everything. You guys have seen me use it when we cook and stuff, but you can also follow really good recipes on there. We're shooting a Ooh. sponsorship right now for Amazon. So, Ooh. it looks like we have to get a stand. Fancy. Fancy. I'm gonna pour it over the sink, you guys. I don't trust myself. It does look like Arnold Palmer. Carnal? Arnold Palmer. Oh. Here you go, baby. Would you like to try? Sure. It'll be five dollars. What? <laughs> Here you go. Well, this was uh, this is fifteen, so technically you owe me ten. Installation was fifteen dollars. Yep. It's well, like... this is ten dollars. Inflation. Well, inflation is the cost of my time, so this is twenty-five. <laughs> Just try the drink. <laughs> Really? That's pretty good. Is it good? I want to make myself one. It's real good. Mmm. Do I use that cup or? You hey. want a bigger cup, honey? It kind of tastes like Arnold Palmer. Well, I mean, it's tea and lemonade. Oh, you put tea in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want a bigger cup and I'll take that one? I like this one. Yeah. Can you get me one? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, you guys, brown sugar is an option. Which makes sense. It's sugar, Kim. Here you go. Thank you very much. Oh, can you get me ice? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that's really good. Oh, I also have these pretty cups, babe. Honey? Oh. Oh, there you go, really. Do you want more or like that? No, that's okay. Thank you. Should I use this one? No, use that one. This one? Okay. It's more, uh, more sturdy and stuff. Oh, baby. Yeah, you this, like it? I do. Okay, baby. Muy bien. Muy bien. Ooh. Where do you want this? It's right there, it's okay. I'm gonna try my drink. Oh man, my lemon. Okay, I'll put the, you can also cut the pieces and put them in. Look, look, inside's pretty too, huh? Yeah. The lemon inside? Mm-hmm. Wow. I love lemons. I think they're honestly so pretty. You want a lemon inside your drink? Wow, that's so good though. Oh! You can spike it if you guys want. We're not going to spike it. I am. Oh, go spike it. I'm you want me to spike it for no, you? No, I'm kidding. I made Carlos one time a, um, a Jack and Coke. And it was 80% Jack and 20% Coke. I'll tell you what, guys. She wanted me drunk that night. <laughs> I took a sip and I was like, oh my God. Cheers, friends. 
Cheers. Brown sugar. So way to go. Sorry I didn't measure. I cook with my heart. So I was talking to Carlos's niece, Kate, the other day. Um, she's the one that lives in Mexico, and I wanted so badly to order my favorite beef jerky, which she's sending a box over, babe. I'm so excited. But she was like, hey, if you really like beef jerky, you should try these from Amazon. And so I ordered them right away, and they just came today. I am on the hunt for extremely dry beef jerky, you guys. It's my favorite. I don't like the soft, moist ones. Um, I love really, really dry beef jerky. So she said to try these, and then she's sending the ones from Mexico over. So I'm really excited. These are, I'll link them down below. But I got them from Amazon. They're all the same flavor, chili lime. Okay, let's try. She said she tried them and they were really good. Ooh, they smell great. I hope they're not sweet. I feel like the last time we tried beef jerky together, they were too sweet. piece that's like I want my first bite to be like perfect there we go that looks like pretty good right mmm okay wow Kate was right mmm The flavor chili lime and it's so good. That is dry. That's exactly how I like it. Oh yeah. Nice and dry. Ow! That tastes good. Mm. Oh my god. That's so good. I need a six o'clock coffee break, so. I haven't had coffee today though, I will say. So I'm gonna pour myself some coffee. There's only a little left in here. Yeah. Favorite coffee ever. Starbucks caramel macchiato. Yummy. Cheers. Friends, what do you guys think about this pot? I actually got it last year at Lowe's for $30. It was the best thing I have ever found. I think it's so beautiful. I actually was going to paint it. Um, you guys know how like on TikTok, people will take paint and they'll mix it with like baking powder, I believe, to make more of like a texture ceramic like a uh, finish. So I was gonna paint it. But now that I see it on the table, I feel like the rustic white with like the um, dark gray gives it a little bit of character. So I'm thinking about keeping it. It actually looks kind of cute, right? What do you guys think? I was either going to keep it or I was gonna paint it black, but I don't know. Or even like a beige with baking powder. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like trying to move all around so you guys can see it from different angles. I'm thinking it's kind of cute. Imagine either flowers or greenery. Like green, like deep green leaves and stuff, like really big coming out or like some flowers. What do you guys think? I think we should keep it, huh? Don't you guys think? I also think I should really change the photos in those frames because those have been hanging up for like over a year now and I need to definitely put something in there. But let me know in the comments what you guys think, okay? I wanna know all of your thoughts. Um, and I won't do anything until I hear from you guys. I've been standing here for the last 20 minutes looking at this pot on the table. You guys, I think we should keep her the same. What do you guys think? 
I don't know why I really thought that a dark pot on the table would maybe just be too much black but for some reason the pot looks beautiful the way it is and it really ties in well with like the chairs and the table and the frames and the curtains um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna put some like white flowers um, to brighten up that area a little bit more and like some dark deep greens poking out but I know I want it to be like very big I don't know it's giving really pretty vibes it's giving me a lot of like a little bit of Italy like just a tiny bit so I think we should keep the pot the same hmm right just keep it it's so beautiful the way it is I don't want to fuck it up with some you know baking powder and paint so I think I'm gonna keep it I just spent the last like 30 minutes trying to turn on my laptop like just hoping and praying that a miracle happens when I press the turn on button but the screen is completely black you guys it's not turning on um I'm uh I really don't want to get a new computer but thank goodness I have the desktop which I'll use today to edit my vlogs until I figure out what's going on I just know Apple is going to charge me so much for it um, and I can't go down to my other guy in Huntington Beach until next week. So we'll have to figure it out. But I really hope that it's something minor. I just think it's so weird. Do you guys feel the same? Like with my iPhone and my Apple products, whenever it becomes like a, almost fall time, I feel like they always start slowing down and like acting really weird. So... I don't know, I know Apple is coming out next month with the new MacBook Air M2 chip. I don't know, I'm just, I think it's a little weird, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Hopefully um, either Apple or my friend who does the whole Apple thing is able to fix it because I, we just got it a few months ago. It hasn't even been a year yet, so. Um, anywho, I am going to tidy up the front area here. Today, honestly, has been such a chill day. Carlos is in the shower. I think when he comes out, he's going to let me hit him with the tortilla. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that last night I stayed up until 6 o'clock in the morning? Because I literally couldn't sleep over the freaking laptop thing. I know it sounds like so dumb to people, but I really like... You know, I really love my laptop. I think I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean this mess of a studio right now. Um, let's see where I can put you guys so we can start cleaning and tidying up because it's starting to get messy in here. I feel like today's such a clean day. I didn't get to show you guys the kitchen area. Actually, let me go show you the kitchen area now because it's completely clean. The boys are not following me, so I know they're tired. Because usually when I get up, all of the dogs follow me. Old man was sleeping on uh, Casper. Look how cute they are. Are you guys cuddling? Yeah. You and Casper always cuddle, Bubba. Oh my goodness, this one's out. Riley really likes corners. That is Carlos probably doing something in there. But yeah, the kitchen area is clean. Hello everyone, look. So that is the dining area. I wiped everything down. I wiped the chairs down, I vacuumed the floor. And then we never really have that door closed, but I love it closed. That's Carlos's office, man cave area. 
And then I also wiped down the kitchen area. I still have to do the dishes, so don't mind them. There's dishes in there. But everything is clean. I feel like when I first moved into this house, I had like a lot of counter decor and um, a lot of things everywhere. But I really enjoy the minimal, the minimalistic look. Like not a lot of things on the counter. Um, I don't like a lot of clutter on the counter, so I've decided not to do any more decor. Um, to some people, it looks empty, but to others, I really need it because I feel like my mind's all over the place. Um, I'm going to go to the store probably another day and get some, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can find some white hydrangeas for the dining room pot because I want to do like white flowers, but I don't want to do white roses. I want to do hydrangeas in white so bad. I think it'll look so pretty with the chairs. So yeah, and then the boys are on the couch, so I couldn't tidy up the couch. But we just got new couch covers that are like a um, linen color, so it'll look better than all the um, mismatched blankets that's going on here. And then I vacuumed everything here as well. And the front of the house is looking a little bit crazy. I also cleaned the bathroom, but Carlos needs to recycle all of these boxes. And so far we've only done these curtains. We haven't done anything else, but this is my office area. I'm gonna leave that there because I still have to finish these curtains on the left side, but let me grab my water bottle. I need to drink more water. I did not drink enough water today. I'm gonna go into my studio here and we're gonna tidy it up because it's looking kind of messy but yeah i have like makeup everywhere and then clothing on the floor and then i need to organize this i bet you that's rocky that's coming rocky oh i knew it hi baby baby you always come with mama I found a sweater. <laughs> Look how good Caspi looks. Oh my goodness. Okay, the room is looking a little bit better. I organized this as well. So all of this is crystal clear. I put all of my new makeup that I need to try in here. So I remember to use it. And then I also just got this. This is Nikki Tutorials um, makeup line. I got a few things from the website that I'm excited to try out. So Carlos. <laughs> Earlier, I showed Carlos a really ugly photo of me, and he was like, oh my god, you should show me more photos of yourself, and I'll react to it. Because he, like, has, I don't think he's ever seen, like, old photos of me, like, back in, like, 2015, when I first started uh, making YouTube videos and stuff. Holy crap, babe, what were you going for here? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> back in 2015, when I was doing makeup. Baby, you look kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. You were supposed to like experiment, right? You guys, like a lot of people were doing looks online and stuff. This one's not as bad. It's just you've never seen me in colored hair. Okay. I like it. Yeah? I do. You like I'm, the purple? Yeah. Hey, you look kind of hot there. You know I did it myself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know I did it myself? No, I didn't. Yeah, I did it myself in the bathroom. I literally went into the bathroom and I chopped my hair. And I went to Target and I bought purple hair dye. <sighs> This photo has a lot of meaning. Okay. So. <laughs> why are you laughing? It was supposed to be meaningful. No, it is. But why? <laughs> what? Why do you look like? <laughs> this was, this was um, a photo of me coming to America. But why couldn't you like smile, man? I was sleeping. Uh, uh, it was a 20 hour. And your mom, <laughs> your mom decided to take a picture. I think it's awesome that she has a photo of no, me I, coming I, that, to that America. Is, that, yeah, I like, that's cool and everything, but 
Dude, that's wild that the like our the headsets. Headphones? Yeah. And that was my favorite scrunchie. Aww. Aww. I was late. But that was because no, <laughs> no, but like the thing was that I was literally getting out of work and he's stuff. He's right, he's and right. I had to go home, take a shower, and do all that stuff. So Carlos would work or You literally live like two minutes away. <laughs> Carlos would wake up at like 4 35 in the morning to take his sister to school. No, I would wake up at five to get ready. And that that's what I say. Same thing, baby. And then um, he would like shower and then take his sister to school and then he would go to work at seven, right, babe? Um, I think seven I seven or eight. I would get in at eight, but I so I had to drop my sister off and then from dropping her off I had to head to work. Yeah, so then he worked for, he would work from eight to five o'clock. Mm-hmm. And then he would still like come hang out with me, which I thought was the sweetest thing ever. But then we would hang out from like five to 10 and he would be like literally passed out. Or sometimes he would go to class after his five o'clock or after he got off at five. Remember I would leave dinner on your car for you? Yeah. Oh my God, babe. Yeah. Our first apartment. Dang. I love that apartment. That apartment complex Wait. was amazing. What? I wanna see. Yeah. I wanna see more. That was our first apartment together. That's crazy. Mm. 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 <laughs> Hang on, false alarm, false alarm.